Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Um, this is just going to be a bit of a check and vlog type style video. Um, just haven't really here. Yeah, I haven't had any content, sorry, over the last couple of weeks. I've just been absolutely flat out with work um, and just life in general. Had to go to a bloody course thing as well and stuff for studies I'm doing. So it's just, my, yeah, my days off have been pretty well buggered. Um, tried to go out hunting on my days off just the last couple of days but first day I went out it just ended up being a drowned rat and then the following day it was blowing its tits off so that was a waste of time um, but yeah I just thought I'd just have a bit of a catch up video um, just make sure everyone's doing well and hopefully everyone else is maybe having a bit more success and getting out hunting a bit more than I am but um, yeah just also wanted to touch on this bloody virus that's going around as well. I know it might have been talked about a fair bit um, recently, but it is something that is on everybody's minds, I guess, and it's probably about the most widely talked about subject in the world at the moment. Um, we're sitting now at, I think the world total death toll for this virus so far is about 10,000, which sounds like a lot, but when you think about how many billion people are in the world it's really only just a teardrop in the whole pool really um, and you know comparing it to things like the black plague and that many many years ago it's it's done bugger all yet so I think everybody needs to just calm down about you know how bad it really is um, at the end of the day too you know it's just a virus um, yeah it can be deadly but so can rotavirus so can cryptovirus so can the flu you know, it just depends really on your immune system, um, what measures you take to fight it and that sort of thing. But, yeah, you just people just need to stop being so silly about, um, you know, going out and buying so much food and just stocking up on things to an extent where it's like we're going to bloody go into a zombie apocalypse or something. That's the way people seem to be acting, which I just think is a bit far-fetched, you know. There's a lot of people out there that can't afford to just go and stock up, you know, spend enough money to last them a month worth of food or whatnot. You know, we can't. Um, but that's where, you know, us hunters and stuff and fishermen and sparrows and all of that sort of thing, I think, need to step up to the mark. You know, this, this virus, as silly as it sounds, there could be a lot of good come out of this um, for us outdoorsmen especially. Um, because you got to think that if the shops can't keep up with supply, there will be a lot more people that, you know, want meat or want fish or that sort of thing. And how are they going to get it if they can't buy it from the shop? And that's where, um, you know, us hunters and fishermen and stuff, we need to step up and be able to help look after, you know, our immediate family first, of course. And then, you know, start looking at your greater community. Um, you know, target target those old people first. Give them food, you know. Don't don't try and get money for it. Just give it away. Because at the end of the day, yeah, it's costing us gas money to go out and get it. But realistically, in theory, it's free otherwise. Um, so it's, it's not something, you know, it's, I'm not trying to say that people should be making money off this virus. But I'm just saying that. If us as hunters and fishermen can go out and, you know, get more than what we need and be able to give it away to people, it's going to shed a lot more good light, I think, on us. And it will hopefully in turn help, um, you know, get our reputation better in the general public. And maybe, you know, who knows, it could end up helping people start turning more against poisons and stuff and they might actually start to realise how... Um, how valuable the resources we have in New Zealand are as opposed to just wanting to get rid of them all because they're killing the bloody bush and whatnot. So, yeah, it's just people need to start thinking about others um, before they start going silly because, I don't know, we're, you know, we're humans. We've, we should be past the point of acting in a primitive nature where we think that everything should be ours and that we should be able to take anything we want when there is others out there that need it as well and there's others out there that can't um, can't get 
you know, they might not be able to afford to go and buy something today, but they could in two days' time sort of thing. So if the, if the stuff's not there in two days' time, then they're going to have to miss out. Um, you know, and there's a lot of people out there that have kids and they're in that situation. And there's a lot of times when it's not their own fault, and there is times when it is, but, you know, those people that deserve to not miss out, you know, that might have worked their ass off for years or those sort of things or the old people you know that have worked their ass off their whole life and then right at the moment they're turning around trying to survive on the pension when the pension is fucking just nothing honestly if, if no one knows if no one know, doesn't know an old person then honestly you should look it up because it's pretty much n not even survivable um, and that you know they're the sort of people I feel sorry for if they don't really have much savings or their kids are bloody useless and don't supply for them and that sort of thing you know there's a lot of them out there and we're coming into winter as well you know people that have wood or do wood you know cut your prices or you know give give old people wood that need it um, at the end of the day we make enough money elsewhere that we don't need to get paid for everything we do you know just the just the love and the and the um, compassion you get from people and the joy you get out of people's eyes and stuff when you give them things for free, especially elderly people, there's nothing that can beat it. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'm not trying to ramble here, but it's just food for thought for everybody. Um, think about, you know, those that are in need outside of your family as well. And yeah, just think about the, the light that it could shed on how valuable the resources are. You know, as hunters, fishermen, spear fishermen, you know, we want to keep those animals here in New Zealand um, for you know our kids our kids kids and whatnot um, yeah it's just it's it's all stuff that people just need to really think about because I just find it stupid how you see people you know fighting in stores and stuff over toilet paper like fuck the virus ain't getting up your ass so <laughs> what what why, why do we need to go out and buy 10 bloody packets of toilet paper it's made in New Zealand uh, it's not going to run out, you know. There's leaves, there's old socks, there's there's lots of things we can use to replace toilet paper if it really came to it. And then, yeah, with food, we're we're, we're a nation where we can we could live like kings if we didn't have to. If we if it came to a point where we couldn't export all of our stuff overseas. Fuck, we're, we're sweet. Like, we've got so much food in New Zealand. Everybody would end up being a fat cunt by the end of this. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. People just need to stop, think about others, think about, you know, the bigger picture of what this really is. You know, we're, we're at 39 cases confirmed in New Zealand at the moment. Um, that does seem quite a lot. I'm not sure what the percentage is on our total population, but we can't have it getting much bigger than that, guys, you know people if you know if you know anybody that should be in 40 day isolation and they're not fucking give them a kick up the ass and make them do it and you know if it comes to it report them because th we're such a small country this shit shouldn't spread and you know we're humans we should be smart enough that um we can stop it so we're not animals anymore we've we've passed that point of evolution so it's just yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be heading out in the bush on my days off, next days off, looking for stags. Hopefully they're roaring by then. Um, but yeah, anybody else that's out there, if you can, you know, shoot more deer, catch more pigs, um, and just, yeah, catch more fish, all of that sort of thing, and try and, you know, give to others that need it and deserve it. Don't don't expect anything in return, you know. Just giving stuff away to people should be more than enough um, payment for what for what it's worth. But yeah, anyway, guys, sorry to ramble on, but yeah, it's just food for thought anyway. And I will catch you guys in the bush on. I'll be out there next Sunday. Sunday Monday, I'll be out in the bush. So hopefully everyone's going well. Stay safe. Keep healthy. Keep hygienic. And yeah, if anybody wants to contact me, um, I'll leave my email in the description below or just drop a comment and that sort of thing. Everyone knows the drill. Yeah, anyway, cheers guys. I'll catch you later.